tequila. Now, I've got vague recollections from my youth of there being a worm in the bottle, but I haven't seen one for years. Where have they gone? I thought that tequila traditionally has to have a worm in it. Uh, right, traditionally, possibly that's the traditional way to, to serve it. Some are meant to have worms in, aren't they, if they're like the posh ones? It's supposed to absorb the poison out of the alcohol or something, yeah? Ah, should it have a worm in it? I'm not quite sure. Tequila's not really my drink. That's the way that obviously it is in Mexico. What, so the tequila in Mexico has worms in it? I, I believe so. Cheers, bye, bye. So, in order to track down the elusive worm, that's where I'm heading. Now, regular viewers to this show will know that I don't often get away to very cool places and like Jimmy and Kate. However, things have changed. Not only have they sent me to Mexico, they've sent me to Mexico to find out all about tequila. And they're so going to regret it. I've come to a shop that houses the largest tequila collection in the world. And with 1,800 bottles to choose from, surely I'll find the worm in here. Although, on closer inspection, maybe not. Thousands and thousands of bottles of tequilas in this store, and not one of them has got a worm in it. Authentic tequila has got a worm in it, right? That's what I thought. What's going on? If I can't find a single worm amongst all these bottles, then why have I always thought that tequila has to have a worm in it? To find out, I'm going back to where tequila originates, to the region of Jalisco. I've come to a plantation to meet farmer Alonso Murillo. Hola, Alonso. These plants are amazing-looking things, kind of alien. Sí. Contrary to popular belief, tequila isn't made from cacti but from these strange-looking plants called agave. This is blue agave, is that right? Yeah. 300 million blue agave are harvested by hand every year by highly skilled workers called jimadors. Wow, okay. It takes eight to ten years for the agave to reach maturity, meaning every single one must be harvested with great care and immense skill. But despite being surrounded by agave, I've still not caught sight of the critter I came here for. I'm looking around, I can't see that little worm. Where is it? Ah, aquí usando de maguey. No hay porque es una plaga. So the worm is an actual pest, so you don't want it. Es una plaga, luego la combatimos para que no affect las demás que están pegado a la que tiene la plaga de sal gusano. So there really is a worm. Adios. Adios. But if it's not in the bottles and it's not welcome in the fields, where does the notion of a worm in my tequila come from? Next stop on my never-ending, seemingly fruitless but rather fun quest is one of the biggest distilleries in Mexico. And I'm here to meet tequila expert Hector Morenzo. Hola. Hector, Matt, you make tequila, right? Of course. Can I, can I see? Of course. This, this way? way. Casa Salsa has been producing tequila for 140 years. We receive around 300 uh, tons of agave every yeah, single tons. day. Exactly. The agave is put it into this machine, right. which is going to shred the agave into the fiber. After shredding, the agave is steamed and filtered to produce a juice, which is then fermented, distilled and finally aged in oak barrels. Wow, great smell in here. This is where we keep the secrets of the tequila. Secrets! Looks like we're finally getting somewhere. And being the consummate professional that I am, I feel it's my duty to give Hector's tequila a taste. This tequila has been rested for four years and six months. It's the oldest in the house. It's more akin to a brandy than... Than it's a tequila, too similar, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. We don't age the tequila for more than five years. It's because they get uh, too similar to okay. whiskeys. This tequila tastes great, but it's totally worm free. So come on, where did I get that notion from? I've seen worms in tequila, no? Uh, no, that's not tequila, it's mezcal. Oh, really? Yes. So what's the difference? There are a few differences, but uh -huh. the main is the plant. 
right. uh, for, for the elaboration of mezcal, we're allowed to, uh, to use 12 different varieties of agave. Mm -hmm. And for the elaboration of tequila, we're allowed to use only one. Oh, is that right? Yeah, that is the blue agave. Which is the one I've been seeing in the fields. Exactly. So it's mezcal that has the worm in it. And even though tequila is a type of mezcal, it's the posh stuff, purely made from blue agave, grown in a few select regions of Mexico. So really, tequila is kind of like the champagne of the mezcal world. Exactly. Got it. They started putting worms in mezcal in the 1940s, but the reason why is still greatly debated. Some say the worm is an aphrodisiac, and some cynical souls even claim it's just a marketing gimmick.